I'm going to show you how you create a PDF. You might want to do this to generate an invoice or report, to automate the creation of complex materials such as leaflets, print documentation, or to build PDFs with links and anchors. You learn how to create a stack with a print layout, populate the stack with content using code, save a PDF and include a clickable link in the PDF. I've started out with a stack that I used in the previous video on processing a report and I've added a substack called invoice. In that substack I've included a data grid which I've also called invoice and I put in columns for description, hours and total and I've added a field called total. All that remains is for me to bring in the image that I'm going to use as the header. I'm going to show you that because it's a little bit fiddly. Bring in this image and then if I scale that image and position it at the top of the stack, the reason for doing this is that it, by scaling it, it will print at higher resolution if I come to print this PDF later. I right click this image and choose lock location and it's vital that you do that so that the image isn't resized when the stack is saved. It's time to add my code. I've got a simple routine here which populates this invoice with data from this field. So we've done a couple of videos that show you how to do this sort of thing. I'm not going to dwell on it in any great detail. But I load in the data from this field. I multiply each line by my hourly rate. I add up the total billable hours. And then I replace a comma with tab in the data to make it ready to go into the data grid. I set the data grid DG text of group invoice of stack invoice to the data, which now populates my data grid, and then I populate the total field with the total that I've summed up. So how do we save out a PDF? Ask file, save PDF as with invoice.pdf. If it is empty, then exit mouse up. So exit of the cancel. Open printing to PDF it. Print card one of stack invoice into the print rectangle, print link to URL paypal.com with rect. And so now I need the rectangle for this link at the bottom here and the easiest way to do that is to create an object on top of it which will give me the coordinates that I need. Open that up and have a look at the size and position tab to see the coordinates there. I'm actually just going to cheat though. I'm going to open up the message box and type in rect. It will give me the rect that I can copy and paste out. Remember to delete this object so that it's not included in the printout. I'll just paste that in there. Then it's just a case of doing close printing. And if I now run this code, a dialog box will come up asking me to save my PDF. And if I double click on the PDF, I have a PDF with selectable text, a high resolution logo at the top, and at the bottom a link which I can click on, which loads up the URL in my web browser. Got a few hints here. Use print anchor to include anchors and bookmark to include navigable chapter and section headings. Use print break to work with additional pages and print into different rectangle areas to include content from multiple cards or stacks. I discuss this in a bit more detail on the page that accompanies the video. And I've also discussed this sample print loop in a little bit more detail, which is useful if you want to print documents that involve multiple pages. It's all on the page that goes with this video.